How's it going guys? It's Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Magic Lantern RAW videos with DaVinci Resolve, which is what I use. Now, it's a lot easier than you think. You don't even need to do a lot. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is get your Magic Lantern recording file and then open the MLV up. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the MLV files right now because I've already processed them and I've just gotten rid of them. But I'll show you what you do. So you don't mess around with any of this. What you need to do is import your files into here and click on this settings button. And then just copy these settings down. If you recorded in HDR, then just uh, tick this box. Um, don't do any of the rest. You don't need to. As you can see, it doesn't let you. So we're going to export this in Cinema DNG RAW and all in the DaVinci Resolve naming scheme and the thing with this is if you make any adjustments in here like your exposure, vibrance, whatever it's not actually going to affect the fi output file so there's no point doing that I also export the audio but you don't have to um, it's really quick and depending on how long the recording is it's gonna just take a few minutes it's not actually processing any of this so it's a lot quicker than let's say um, apple prores or something because it doesn't do any processing it just kind of converts each frame into a dng sequence and then you're gonna get the output file as this so you're gonna get the audio as well as all the frames in here there's like 8000 of them and I'll show you how to get this um, working into DaVinci Resolve now open up a brand new project um, and then click on file then project settings and then just make sure you go through all of this um, because you might not be able to change it later on um, because I don't know it's funny the way this works but I've got a preset which is this one I think I'm going to use this one so I record my videos in 2 to 1 ratio on the camera and what I'm going to do is just drag the folder onto the timeline and it's actually going to make it as a video as you can see this is what you get so you get the audio as well as the video now when you're actually converting it in the MLV file if it gives you an error saying that um, there's something something object missing just click uh, skip and it does that if there's a frame missing in the audio i mean in the video so that's one of the things i encountered um but it's not it's not an issue anymore because it only does it sometimes depending on the video so in this case um it's only five minute recording six minutes actually and this took about three minutes or so to actually expo i don't quite remember because i just left the computer um but as you can see it looks really really bad it looks wrong the aspect ratio is wrong and everything and i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna show you how to fix it it's really easy all you have to do is on the camera when you're selecting your aspect ratio is gonna show you you need to stretch it by 1.16 it might be a different number for but for me when i'm recording in two to one it's actually 1.16 times stretch and to do that you just go on to this bit here transform the zoom and then unlink it yeah and then from here just leave that as one put this as 1.67 and then that's it now as you can see um it's pretty much like the right is like correct aspect ratio now um there may be If I go into here, if, if, if you're getting this like cropped or something, go into image scaling and then, yeah, just make sure you got this selected. Actually, we'll try this one. Okay, so that's the actual resolution of the file or whatever. I mean, as you can see, just back ratio has been corrected. I'm going to just go ahead and leave it on this one. And then that's just going to... Now, you fix one thing and it's best if you do this when you imported the file into resolve because if you're gonna like split it up then you're gonna have to do this each one manually you can do it really easily by copying it from here to the other ones but as you can see 
um what, what we're gonna do is in the color section we're gonna just like correct it and um, it's gonna look right because right now it doesn't look right and the thing is i only have to do this like exact same every single time so like i'm recording a different video i can just copy wherever i've done to that and it's gonna like be correct so this is what it comes out as and you're gonna need to see the waveform so what you're gonna need to do is go on to the log profile thing here and make sure this is selected so you can actually see the waveform now first thing we're gonna do is click on number two and then we're gonna just drag the temperature around and make sure these curves over here they match perfectly now if your video is different since mine is like a background white that's why it's showing this curve because that's the actual color but if it's a different color like um, the sky or something it might be blue you're gonna have to like not match that on here because this is basically white so it's gonna be the same all across um, what you can do is just copy what I do over here and it's gonna like be the be good so I'm just gonna drag this down and then until so it doesn't clip right now um, we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure we level out the red and the blue as you can see the green is a bit lower we're gonna fix that in a bit I'm just gonna like level out this one first so that looks about right to me now it looks a bit bluish what we need to do now is just do the tint correction thing and then i'll just go ahead and drag this um until it matches properly there we go so as you can see that looks gray now and that looks pretty white i'm gonna go ahead and drag this back up this is what it was look it looked like um and that's that's it now you fix the white balance um the color of the hand should be like right and it looks right to me um, what you can do from here is as you can see the Y is not like touching the top so you're just gonna drag that up so it touches the top just drag this across and then that white becomes proper white if you want you can go ahead and do the same with the shadows uh, go ahead and crush them a bit um, but in terms of the contrast I personally don't really like all that much but this is perfect I actually like this uh, make sure you don't overdo it because then it's gonna either just crochet all or you know really dark uh, that's not nice uh, keep it proper I just like to either leave it this as default or just drag it down a bit but best of leaving it as default because I think it just decreases the contrast a little bit which looks a bit more pleasing to look at um, so that's it that's all you've done that's all you have to do to correct it if you go ahead and make another node if you want uh, yeah there we go now if you want you can actually that's the correction done and then from here you can do the color grading if you want so I don't do this but if you want you can actually color grade it let's go ahead and just do the Hollywood look kind of thing um, yeah I mean if that's what you want I'm just go ahead and delete this I just do the color correction and that's it I mean then all you have to do is sync up the audio if you have any and then just go ahead and export it after you've done the editing I mean it looks really really nice I mean just look at the tones on it it looks pretty nice of course it's not 4k or anything but who cares I mean it, it, it looks really nice so with the Canon cameras you can actually record RAW now with Magic Lantern and I'm actually loving this quality that comes out of it it's not amazing like even the pocket cinema cameras but it's pretty good and then after that you can just go ahead and export it over here whatever frame rate you want and all and then that's it it's done so that's how you actually that's how i actually record with my camera and then export with the um, m the most important part over here is using the mlv up to export as dng sequence um if you do anything else it's gonna take either way too long to even process and it's gonna just gonna take up more time so this is how i edit my videos so yeah that's it thanks for watching goodbye